What's up, YouTube? It's Wes. My moped won't start today. So, I got it to run yesterday. I think the carburetor's dirty. So, this is a 50cc Kinetic, uh, made in India. Really fun, does like 25 miles an hour. It's a fun little thing, the kids like it, the older kids. So, uh, today I'm going to show you how to clean a carburetor on a Kinetic 50cc moped. Stay tuned. All right, all right. First thing I do, this is not completely necessary, but these little plastic quarter turn Zeus fasteners here, pull this little cover off. Oh, come on, a little more. Bonk. And you can see the coil, uh, the chain. It's a little bike chain. Start it. So, let me get you a little closer here and we'll start taking this off. I don't know if you can see, right here in the center of your screen, this little screw, that is the clamp for the intake manifold. The fuel line comes in underneath here. Let me see. Fuel line hooks up right here. Flathead screwdriver. So, Set the gas off to minimize leakage. Let's take this guy, the fuel line off first. Oh, this has got a little filter in here. There is a filter down here, but this has its own little filter. Gotta be careful, you don't lose that guy. screw little filter see all the little I don't you see this little black flex the original fuel cap on this thing the rubber seal disintegrated and I, I tried to get as much as I could out but I just it couldn't I couldn't get it all so now you see on the screen here this is the fuel or the intake clamp that tightens it down onto the intake manifold also if you want you could take the fuel line off right here just pop it off but I want to clean this thing too so I took that off and this is pretty easy it doesn't look like it's gonna come out and I might need to take the air filter off, but I'm pretty sure you get this loose enough. Give it a little persuasion. When I first got this thing, this is why I got it for 200 bucks. It was a uh, carburetor super duper plugged. 
Oh wait, I gotta take the air filter off. Ah! <clears throat> Cut! Flathead screw here. Loosen off the air filter clamp, which I should have done to begin with. This little guy pops out of the way. Super simple little thing. Okay, oh how do you get it out? Like that. And there we go. Two stroke. That's all it is for a filter, it's like a screen. So that's probably why these carburetors get plugged up so easily. I've had to clean this thing twice. So now we'll go back like I was doing before. Can you see? Pry behind the carburetor. And I've discovered you might as well leave the throttle cable on until you get the carburetor off because it's such tight quarters. That carb off. It slips out, and then easily enough, push this little guy, and then, uh, and then what? What now, Wes? Unscrew this. Come on, this is a tutorial, man. That's taking a long time. Okay, push this up in here. So I'm going to lose it, and there we go. It's that lever I was pushing. Choke. Yeah. There's the fuel inlet. That looks super clean, doesn't it? It's a little plastic thing on the carburetor. I don't know. That's just going to have to stay there. So, let's, uh... Take this into my laboratory and we'll take this little weird thing apart and uh, clean it. Okay. Play another animal. Okay. This little guy. You can check for water. You pour your gas out onto a paper towel. Water will sit on top of the paper towel. But this, uh, there's no water in that guy. So, first of all, we'll just give it a rinse. This can't go. Next. Stupid tubes. Which PV is sponsor me. Also, I find super helpful taking an air compressor if you have it. You can see what I'm doing? Not even. Let's get all the big chunks out. So. Start with the bowl, two flathead screws here, it looks like. This little guy's a drain. I guess I could have done that to begin with. No water. See, water will sit on top of the paper towel. I almost want to get some water so I can show you. Maybe in a minute. Alright, cut this out because it's taking a long time. Yep. Okay. It's pretty rusty. But I imagine my problem's right here in this main jet. And that, oh yeah, look all, that's all sticky. Little chunks of rubber from that uh, fuel cap. So. Next thing to do. Take the float out, push this little pin out, needle and seat, actually looks really good. 
I think uh, that's not our problem. You see that? Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. I believe our problem is this guy. We'll pull the idle screw out. Let's see where we're at first. Three and a half, would you say? Three and a half screwings on this idle screw. We can always adjust that later. That guy's out. Now we're gonna work on this. Uh, I think this is the main jet. This is the original carburetor. This thing's a 1998 Kinetic 50cc. Yeah, that thing is completely plugged. Can't see it. it it's not going to focus. You can't see a thing through there, but that's completely plugged. I guess the best chance I can get. Oops, that's pretty loaded. Hold that thing down. This has like a catch. You hit the choke, and then when you hit the gas, it releases it. It's like a flat slide. That's pretty cool. And that's it. Completely tore down. There's nothing else I could do. Maybe take this emulsion tube out, but... You see the emulsion tube in there? Usually the top of the emulsion tube is exposed, and you can get it out. I don't know if this one's going to be able to come out. Let's try a little... Fonzarelli. You know, I think we're going to be cleaning that guy in place. So I'll start with the main body. Get the internal parts cleaned. Yeah, always when you're doing this, wear some kind of safety goggles. I mean, can you even see what I was doing? Down the main jet. Oh my god. I think I just ruined my camera. Here's the fuel inlet. Clean that guy out. Okay. Everything looks good there. Give this guy a clean. A little flat slide guy. Clean out this bowl. O ring, I'm not going to touch it. It's in good condition. I don't know, you might, uh, this is where if you had a sonic cleaner, you could use that. But I don't have one of those. So I'll just use one of these guys. This little chemical, chemical brush just to get all the schmutz out of there. Clean this up, review the footage, see if I messed anything up, and then we'll put this thing back together. Why well, review footage? You were probably saying, he totally forgot to clean that little main jet. Well, I did. Here it is. So, what I have here the WAPO torch tip cleaning kit. It's pretty nice for uh, some of these guys. I've cut the, can you even see? I cut the ends off a couple of them. But find one that'll fit. Nope. Let's try this guy. Here we go. Well, that's a little suggestive. Get all the corrosion out of there. Can you see? Can you see through it? Ooh, right there. See? Yes, I got the shot. All right, now I can clean up and, yeah. Let's see if we can catch this. This has some nomenclature on it. Just zoom into something. Focus, there we go. It's a 45 with a, uh, so I don't know what that, it's a 45. So if you don't have your original jet or you need to buy a jet, 
That's the one right there. Now it's working. Dang it. <clears throat> okay. Now we can start to reassemble this little guy, which is the reverse of what I just did. Start with the needle and seat. Drop it on the tray. Step one. So this little guy slides in this little slot. Simple, simple. If, unless you're me. There we go. Take our little pin. Tell me if this is boring. In the comments below. Now, oh, I can't even test the thing. Nope. I have to need that thing to test it. We'll just take... I bet it'll be fine. So here's our little 45 jet. Put that back in. Give it a little snuggy snug. And that's the float assembly. Can't put this on wrong. You know, curvedy curve. Imagine it's these longer ones. I didn't take any notes, so. Fast forward, fast forwarding, fast forwarding. Snug these guys up. Put a little cutoff back in. All right, that was pretty simple. Oh yeah, also I went out and grabbed the filter and cleaned that, blew it from the inside out. So now, put this little guy back in, a little slide. Pull up, throw the screw. I don't know if this is entertaining or not. While I'm doing this, I have surpassed 100 subscribers. Uh, one second. This was filmed like a little while ago. It will make more sense in a second. So I am in the process of making a hundred subscriber video, and I don't. I'm not sure what to do, how to celebrate something like this. But I'm really happy about this. Actually, I think I have 112 at the time filming this. So I've been getting subscribers like never before, and I'm super, super excited about it. I'm gonna. Continue making YouTube videos because I really enjoy this stuff. You know, I mean, it's it's a hobby for sure, and a lot of times I don't have time to make a video, but I like it. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you're my new subscribers, and uh, look forward to some cool stuff. You know, I got a I got some new stuff. I can't count while I'm talking. One. Two, three and a half ish. Yeah, I got some new stuff. Let's go, uh, actually, let's go take a look. I'll show you what I got the other day. Traded it for some ramps. That's my dirt. There's the van cart. Mini chopper. Kids broke this. This is in a future video. Oh, they killed the spindle. Oh, I can't see it. I can't, I can't see it. This is what I got the other day. Traded a couple of rims for it. You may have seen this on Redbeard's Garage. Nitro X. Murray. It's got a Tecumseh on it. Let me get around here. It's pretty cool. It's in good shape. It's got seat belts. It's a 2003. You see that? Kids really love it. So there'll be a video on this. But uh, there it is. That thing needs some love. That guy needs some love. This one needs love. I love this one. Here's also another sneak peek. Look at all my junk. Right 
Ooh, homemade mini bike. That's all you get. It's gonna be a revival. You've seen that in another video, but let's uh, let's uh, let's put this car back on. The first thing I want to do is just kind of spray car cleaner all over my me and you and just kind of clean everything here. Oh, chrome, nice. Ooh, ooh. And there. And then we'll, uh, <clears throat> next thing, this little guy, he saw me take this off. You've probably seen it. It's easy. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Steve Terryberry just posted a video. I think this thing was out of adjustment last time I put this together. Look how much slop is in that. I gotta get all that out. A little bit more. Boy, I think that's it. Let's hit the throttle, see how it works. Slip this back over. Can you see what I'm doing? Kinda. Pry it in place. I think I went right in last time. What am I doing wrong? Oh god. Oh god. Cut. I'm gonna come back in a second. Wiggle. Wiggle. There's that. Now, it's gonna be hard to see. Let's see if I can get the shot. I'm gonna put the fuel filter. I'm rotate this guy back around. Sorry about the fingers in the shot. Oh my god, this is such tight quarters. Oh man, give me a quarter jet any day. Drop it, gotta drop it on the dirty chain guard. That's, uh, you know, you have to, you have to do that part. The little bolt back down the center, this little, I guess this is a banjo, you know? Not like that, down, 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 but like a, like you see on a airplane fuel line. Come on. Get on oh, my fat fingers, just. Can you even see? Can, can you even see what I'm doing? Oh, God. That's this screw. Right. I'm tightening this screw right here. Eh. Eh. Oh, the angle. <clears throat> okay. That should be. How are we looking here? It would appear I got everything on here right. Let's get this little cover so I get to see in better days. Put that on there. Okay. And I'm gonna I kind of clean the air filter. <laughs> you know, like this. But nothing happens, it just stays the same. So. Nope. Let me get this guy on. Which way do you think this goes? Like that? I don't remember. I wasn't watching the beginning of this video. Well, that, yeah, that seemed like it was it. Tighten the screw. Pulls the air filter on. Alright. Okay. We'll put this little cover back on and I'll try to start it again. Okay, this could go this could go horribly bad, could waste 20 minutes of your time, or maybe we'll just start. Who knows? Let's turn the gas on. Ah. Put to run. Give it a second. Get the decompression. Oh, 
out of shape. Took the plug off. It's pretty wet and dirty. Oh, so I'm going to clean the plug. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, I cleaned it. Can you see? Can you see? Let's see. Let's see what happens when I... If I can, can I do this? Huh? I got shocked. It has spark, but I want to show you it has spark. <clears throat> Can you even see it? Uh, it's there. I seen it. I don't know if you've seen it. Eh. Eh. <clears throat> Again. That's promising. Come on. Stay with me. You're okay. starting fluid or something. Okay. And now it, it's been like six months or more since that first part of the video you've seen there. Um, I filmed all that before COVID and uh, to me uh, there was more important things I had to do so I kind of just set this aside and uh, but today hey little spider I felt like I just wanted to come out here and just try again on this thing I never did get it to run uh, this spring it never ran uh, <clears throat> it turned out and I'll show you here in a minute, the key switch was like, it was partially, the way this key works in a kinetic is it's just a ground, you know, like a mini bike. And uh, it was like partially on, partially off, so I was getting a weak spark. So today, I actually, this morning, I took the engine completely out and took it apart as far as I could without the special tools you need. And I did a compression test, it has like a hundred and... 40 psi compression everything seemed good. I took the carburetor off again and just verified that it was clean and it, it's clean So then I took apart the headlight You know and I found that the wires were Everything looked fine, but I just wanted to try it So I disconnected the key and Sure as heck So let me um, 
I'm going to wrap this video up here, but first I want to show you what I'm talking about with the key. So, give me a second. Yeah, my shop is uh, it's in total disarray. It's just chaos out here, you know. Well, what do you do? So over here, <clears throat> this is where the key is. See, here's the key, the ignition switch. And there's just these two wires, a black and a white wire, and they come over into this, which I think comes up to the switch up here. I don't know exactly. But I know that if I touch them together, it won't run. So what I did, because I can just uh, use this on-off switch still. you just seen me do it. <clears throat> I disconnected it from the ignition switch and taped them off. And now I got good hard spark, or blue, or what? I don't know, good, it's, it's running now. So, I'm going to do, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to put this stuff back together. i got all the side covers off. Whoop, upside down. <clears throat> put this side cover on. Uh, also, I, gas had sat in the tank for a long time, so I just have like the old Musty One fuel line going on here. So, I don't know. I might drain the tank too, but let me, uh, let me figure out what I'm going to do next. Seems like I've got the clutch on wrong. I'll show you what I mean here. I'm gonna hit the back brakes. This is supposed to let go. So I think I, I assembled it wrong somehow. So let me take a look at what I've done. Not a lot of pieces. Apparently, enough to where I can't do it. Oh, little chunk of something. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Well, this test drive might just become to a short end. Oh. Can you see that? It's really bright out here. It's bad lighting for this. The middle center spring is broken. I don't even see where's the spring. Hmm. Alright, well. It's running. I need a new clutch. 
So. I was trying to be all cinematic and stuff, you know? <sighs> so, still hot. It just rained a whole lot. All right, you guys. This one's a weird one, I know. And it ends in sadness. So I'm gonna go online. There's a, there's a site that sells kinetic moped parts. Let me see if I can get a clutch. See how much they are. All right. Thanks you guys for watching. Listening to the chicken the neighbor has. Liking and subscribing. Take her easy. Here's a little better shot of what happened. This lighting was crap out there. Here's a little ear right here. Supposed to have little double holes, and it don't. And I, this is probably like pot metal. It kind of it doesn't look like aluminum, or I don't think I can fix that. But I'm gonna try. So if not, I'll just buy another one. But this, there you go.